Hey guys, <laughs> Lake Pierce Scuba Tech Tips here at good old Dive Source in Whitby. Today we're going to talk about N I T R O X. That's that spells nitrox. Try it, nitrox. Anyway, nitrox. No nitrox. <clears throat> you know this has been around a long time. I took a commercial diving training program here at Seneca in the 70s, and we talked about mixed gases. That's what we called it back then. What's called nitrox. But now sport divers, recreational divers, if you like in the last 20 years, have started to use nitrox, which for all intents and purposes is called EAN, enriched air nitrox. It's shortened to nitrox, so it's called nitrox. But what it means is enriched air, which means in our particular case, instead of cutting back on the amount of oxygen, we increase the amount of oxygen. Yeah. And that gives you many, many benefits, depending on the depth and, and, and the amount of time you want to spend underwater and so on. Then changing the mix a little bit, increasing the oxygen, making the oxygen enriched, enriched air, uh, uh, can give you substantial benefits. Longer time underwater, safer, Safer, yeah, in terms of decompression sickness and other th things as well. So nitrox, the study of nitrox and use of nitrox, mixed gas, if you like, has become a big, big part of recreational diving in the last few years. Now, <clears throat> it's not everybody says, I, I don't know about that. I hear about MOD and percents and, and, and oh, guys, 1.2, 1.4. What's all that stuff mean? Sounds really complicated, but anything that's brand spanking new always sounds complicated if you don't know anything about it. Take a basic nitrox course. The basic nitrox course I've read recently from Patty is their most popular specialty course. Of course, the subject that I want to deal with right this minute is how do you know that your tank that you're using, you've been using for several years, how do you know it's safe for nitrox? Because nitrox is not perfect in terms of, uh, of, of how it affects divers. Nitrox cannot be used with regular equipment. Your tank, your regulator, and various other parts of your equipment also have to be trained, if you like, to use nitrox. How do you know that your tank is safe? Well, I know this tank is safe for a variety of reasons. First of all, it's a nitrox tank. It has a big, well-known nitrox sticker on it. That identifies it as a nitrox tank. Ah, but the that sticker's kind of worn, isn't it? It's coming off. You see that, Kevin? Couldn't you find a nice one? So now you have to go down here, you have to go down here and check and you have to see when it was last cleaned and tested for nitrox. So down here is a sticker looks like this. And this sticker says that this tank has been inspected and is suitable for enriched air use. Oxygen service is what it's commonly called. Oxygen. So your tank needs to be treated differently as well. So if you have an interest your buddies or a particular dive that you want to go on. And certain, certain places in the world, nitrox is very, very common depending on the diving. Truck Lagoon, one of my favorite dive sites. Shipwrecks there are in, I'm a, I'm a shipwreck guy. I don't mean I'm a shipwreck guy. I mean, I like shipwrecks, don't be smart. So anyway, to dive in uh, Truck Lagoon, the use of nitrox is very, very common. Some of the wrecks are quite deep. And secondly, once you get on the wreck, deep or not, you want to take your time and explore it. Some of those ships are it's a lot of fun. Nitrox is common. You want to take your own tank. How do you get your tank ready? How do you know your tank is ready for nitrox? Well, it's really very simple. You take it to Marty. You know, well, if you're here in, in Whitby, in Ontario, or you take it to the dive source, you would take it to Marty. He's an expert on that, and he will take care of it for you. <laughs> However, I don't suspect that too many of you folks listening right now are near, live near Whitby, maybe a few. Uh, so you would take it to your local dive store. And these days, almost invariably, there will always be a service technician who knows his, he knows his business. He knows about nitrox. He knows how to clean your tank, inspect it, take care of it, the valve, make sure everything is ready so you can then take part in those enriched air nitrox dives if you want to. Yeah. What does that involve? Well, it's really very simple. Give them 60 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain exactly what's involved. What Marty, in this case, or your local dive store will do is first of all inspect the tank to make sure the tank itself is safe to use. Nitrox or ordinary air. So you're going to get, you're going to make sure that it's up to date for its annual visual and five-year hydro. So you'll get a sticker like this that goes on the tank. You get that anyway, whether you're just scuba diving regular or not. This one says it. This is uh, standards on the date published. Visually inspected and ready to go. Then, 
you say to Marty, I want to use this for nitrox. Ah, Marty says, no problem. So we put it into our oxygen cleaning program. It makes it sound really fancy. Yeah. And what they really do is they check it again because there are certain special chemicals that you use then to wash the inside to make sure there's no interaction between the tank or anything in the tank and any oxygen enriched air that you might put into the tank. So they, they clean it again. And then you get one of these. Ah, and they say, this tank is even better. Well, it was better or not. But this tank has now been inspected, cleaned, ready to use with enriched air, with, the, with oxygen, with enriched air, nitrox. Okay? Ah, a little bit more to it than that, because <clears throat> if, you're using, uh, if you're using the partial pressure method, that's one of those terms you'll learn about in the, in the uh, nitrox course, partial pressure method. That means that they're going to put pure oxygen into your tank, and then they'll add other things as well to end up with your final mix. It could be a custom mix. There is a sticker, eh? A custom mix. Whoa. What do you breathe down there? Oh, I got a custom mix. <laughs> Radius. Usually just more oxygen than you normally would be breathing. Anyway, they're going to do that. To do that, they're going to put pure oxygen into the tank. Well, now, if they put pure oxygen in this tank through that valve, that valve has to be ready for oxygen, too, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So part of the oxygen or nitrox cleaning service is to clean the tank, get it ready for the use of nitrox, and also to disassemble the valve, clean every part of that valve that might come in contact with oxygen, replace the parts in there, that may not work well with oxygen, some of the oil rings and some of the seats and so on are not in there. They're not oxygen compatible, that's what it's called. And so they change those, put it all back together, put the valve back in the tank, it's all ready to go. And that's not expensive, 50 or 60 bucks covers that entire service. It's actually pretty cheap, okay? And then you're all set to go. And your dive store, Marty, or wherever it happens to be, and say, okay, I'm going diving tomorrow with the buddies, and we're using 32%. That's a common number, 32. So uh, nitrox 32, and he fills it with a nitrox 32 uh, if you go and do your dive. Just that simple. A small thing that I want to mention right here that a lot of people don't seem to realize. Most dive stores, <clears throat> well all dive stores, have clean air. They have a certificate that this air is good for diving. It's been filtered, it's clean, it's good for diving. But it may not necessarily be what's called oxygen compatible. Oxygen compatible breathing air for scuba divers is a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, has less particles in it. Scuba diving air doesn't have many particles. They've all been filtered out. All the bad gases, all, all, almost all of them. Not all of them, almost all of them. Oxygen compatible air is a little bit better. Okay? So here's the dilemma. If you go and get your tank cleaned up, get Marty a $60 cheap, and you, now you come out and you got nitrox stickers and, and you got that, that, but do, and now you can put nitrox in. You can only use nitrox from then on. Well, that's not exactly true. If you're going on a dive that does not require enriched air, just an ordinary dive, you're just going out to bring up your neighbor's outboard motor in 20 feet of water. You don't need nitrox for that. You can use ordinary air, but it must be oxygen compatible. So when you go into the dive store and you say, Marty or Bobby or Jack or whatever the guy's name is, I uh, need uh, oxygen compatible air. So once you get your tank clean for nitrox, you don't want to ruin all that work. I have to pay again to get it clean. You need after that point to use either nitrox, which is very, very clean, or OC, oxygen compatible air, small point, okay? There you go. That's all there is to it. How do you know your tank is safe for nitrox? Well, it's really simple. It'll say nitrox, and you'll have a current, current sticker. These stickers have a date on them by the year and the month. So it goes by the month. So if, you, if it was OC in October, here in November, it still should be good for nitrox. Okay? Just that simple. Just check and see. If in doubt, Ask your local dive store. That's there for, they're there for, to answer your technical questions. Make sure that everything you're doing is a sport, and the sport of scuba diving is safe. Okay? Hope there's something in there maybe of interest to you. And you, some of you guys that are experts on nitrox, you have some questions. Gosh, send us some comments. We love the comments. Gives us lots of ideas for uh, future uh, tech tips. Okay, there you go. I'm going to take my tank now.